The last few years have seen a host of scientific discoveries and many of these more exciting cases have been within the field of archaeology. The field unravels the history and cultural practices of human civilization, telling us all about the past and giving us insights into the making of modern society. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at these three archaeological discoveries. Thirteenth-century priest's tomb discovered in Egypt's Luxor On Saturday, the 24th of November 2018, a tomb dating back to the 13th century was unveiled following a five-month-long excavation. This was according to the Egyptian Ministry of Antiquities. The long-term excavation project took place in Luxor, one of Egypt's most well-known cities, famously called Thebes in ancient Egypt. This particular work was performed near the River Nile's west bank. After five months of work, conducting a long process of carefully calculated digging and cutting, the excavation was complete, revealing the tomb of a priest and his wife. This momentous project was undertaken by an Egyptian Supreme Council of Antiquities mission, and the discovery it resulted in was rather impressive. The tomb that was uncovered donned scenes inside it, showcasing the priest and his family together. Khaled El Nani referred to the remains of them during a press conference discussing the discovery as being in exceptional condition. The priest that was laid to rest within the tomb was Thor Ikret Ev. The ministry informed the public that he had played a role of great importance, as he had been in charge of overlooking the mummification shrine at Luxor's Egypt Mut Temple. Alongside the colourful scenes within the tomb, there were sarcophagi of Thor Ikret Ev and his wife. Completing the tomb were 1,000 Ashabti. For the not-so-informed archaeology fans amongst us, a sarcophagus is a stone coffin which usually looks like a sculpture or holds a significant inscription. These are typically associated with ancient Egypt. Ashabti are funerary figurines, intended to serve as a magical substitute to replace their now passed away owner if requested by the gods to complete not-so-prestigious tasks in the afterlife. Their name, whilst undertaking a number of spelling variants, is often translated to answerer, though this is a fairly frequent topic of debate amongst archaeologists and linguists alike. Often made of blue or green glazed Egyptian faience, they typically range between 5 and 30 centimetres in height and stand within the tomb, accompanying the deceased in the afterlife. Coincidentally, a French team of archaeologists announced an entirely distinct discovery on the same day. The French Institute for Technology and the University of Strasbourg collaboratively researched and undertook work leading to the discovery of yet another preserved sarcophagus, this one belonging to a female mummy named Thuya. Excitingly, the dating of Thuya's sarcophagus has placed her during the 18th dynasty, an iconic era in Egyptian history, most notably including pharaohs such as the famous Ramses II and Tutankhamun. Not only do these exciting discoveries advance the field of archaeology, but the promotion of this research aids to improve the tourism in Egypt, a once relied on economic sector now in need of recovery. The Temple of Angkor Wat was bounded by a mysterious structure 1.5 kilometers long. In December of 2015, it was discovered that the world's largest religious monument is actually even bigger than we once thought, among other brilliant insights provided by this research team. The Temple of Angkor Wat, located in Cambodia, Southeast Asia, has been thought of as the world's largest religious monument for hundreds of years, having been built in the 12th century, once at the heart of the Khmer Empire. Bringing a modern twist to this knowledge, however, is the work of a team of Australian archaeologists who have found we can actually expand the recorded size of the temple thanks to their use of ground-penetrating radar whilst investigating the Angkor Wat complex. The research mission, dubbed the Greater Angkor Project, was led by Australian researchers Professor Roland Fletcher and Dr Damien Evans, who work with the University of Sydney. Their investigation revealed more components to the temple than we had previously known of, as well as the complex being bounded on the south side by a large structure, adding to the previously recorded size of this record-holding temple. When speaking on behalf of the team, 
Professor Fletcher said this structure, which has dimensions of more than 1500 meters by 600 meters, is the most striking discovery associated with Angkor Wat to date. Despite this being a fascinating finding, there is still plenty we are yet to uncover. To date, the purpose and function of the structure remains unknown, and we are yet to find a parallel or otherwise similar structure in any other Angkorian works. Aside from the large adjoined structure, the team also discovered buried towers that had been assembled and removed throughout the period, estimated to encompass the dates surrounding the construction and first uses of the temple at the Angkor Wat site. Even more new information has come to light as a result of this investigation, challenging the misconceptions surrounding the temple. For decades, centuries even, we had held the assumption that on the land neighbouring Angkor Wat stood similarly sacred precincts and cities of religious importance. However, this team has found there to be evidence of a sparse population's housing among these areas. The research team believe this could suggest residential use of the land, theories supported by the findings of roads, ponds and mounds. Current speculation says that these were all used by people working within the temple, in positions of service, largely such as priests. Another fascinating revelation made courtesy of this project is the discovery of wooden structures having been created to secure and strengthen Angkor Wat. Archaeologists predict that these wooden structures have been implemented towards the more modern end of the temple's history, leading Dr. Fletcher to describe it as a possible last attempt at defence, an opinion expressed through his statement. Angkor Wat is the first and only known example of an Angkorian temple being systematically modified for use in a defensive capacity. The placement of these defences on a more modern timeline, estimated between 1297 and 1585 AD, suggests that the addition of the defences could have been in an effort to resist the growing influence of the city Ayutthaya, a city nearby. Dr. Fletcher summarised with the concluding thoughts, Either data makes the defences of Angkor Wat one of the last major constructions at Angkor and is perhaps indicative of its end. This relatively recent insight into a temple so long out of use points to both the complexity of human civilization and the momentous discoveries that continue to lie ahead of us and the abundance of new leads and information to have come from one research team is a true testament to their important work. Scientists find evidence of ancient Denisovans on Tibetan Plateau. In late 2020, an expansion of research into the Denisovans took place, revealing more about the subspecies of archaic humans. For a little over a decade, we have known about the existence of the Denisovans, a now extinct species biologically and evolutionarily related to both modern-day humans and the Neanderthals. Bone fragments found in the Denisova cave, hence their name, underwent genome sequencing and other genetic tests to confirm their place in the evolutionary timeline of humans. However, outside of the Denisova cave, located in the Altai Mountains in Siberia, scientists have struggled to find evidence further confirming their existence or societal patterns and behaviours. That is until new research began to emerge. In late 2020, research published within the journal Science presented a hypothesis that the Denisovans spread their presence throughout Asia over a broad basis, having relations with human ancestors to people living within 21st century Asia. This idea is based upon the premise that the Denisovans diverged from the Neanderthals about 400,000 years ago. The evidence for these assumptions is rooted in the remains of DNA found within the sedimentary rocks of cave walls. These caves underwent excavation, allowing the sediments to be removed and analysed. From the entrance to the Bashir Karst Cave, Bashir Karst Cave is a limestone cavern situated on the northeast of the Tibetan Plateau, known as the Roof of the World due to its high elevation. The characteristic genetic mutations found within Denisovan humans were present in the genetic analysis, providing evidence that the Denisovans had been within Asia. Co-author Charles Perrault, Associate Professor at the School of Human Evolution and Social Change at Arizona State University and his research team found over 1,300 artefacts and 580 bone fragments during this project. 
This has given an insight into the abilities of the groups, as many of these artifacts were composed of flaked sandstone and hornstone river cobbles, whilst the bones from gazelles, foxes, rhinoceros, and other animals give an insight into the surroundings and wildlife. Markers such as wildlife can be assessed as useful, as flowing water has the ability to distort where sediments may lie. However, we do currently consider the Denisovans to have been genetically adapted in some manner to survive at high altitudes, such as those presented on the Tibetan Plateau with relative ease. The modern-day ability for many Tibetans to survive in these high altitudes provides a tenuous link to the development of modern humans in the area. We cannot know if the Denisovans and modern-day Asian populations are more closely genetically linked than, say, Europeans just yet, though the current research suggests this possibility is not too far-fetched. Archaeological research is continuing to progress in leaps and bounds. It is astonishing how little we know and how much there is to discover about our very own pasts. But what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.